Hey guys, it's Alicia and I'm back with another process video and I want to start off first by saying I'm sorry if the sound quality with this video is a little bit off. I cannot find my headset that I normally do my voiceovers with so um, I'm just using the built-in mic in my MacBook so hopefully it uh, is alright. Um, yeah, so I am starting off uh, with a picture of my new puppy. Uh, his name is Swiper and he's a little baby Pomeranian. Uh, this is just a selfie I took the other day. Um, it's just a 4x4 printed off of my selfie. And I'm going to use some of the Chamel collection. So I'm going to use a little bit of our first line, um, which is actually going to be my background paper. And then most of it um, is going to be from her more recent line. I hate to say older because I mean that's just the one thing that frustrates me with scrapbooking products is you know once they're like a month or two old or you know been out for a month or two all of a sudden now they're older collections and um, I just hate that because it's like you'll never keep up you know <laughs> so anyways yeah I pulled out some papers more in the blues and greens um, just because I have two little girls so I tend to scrapbook a lot in pinks and stuff like that and um, since Swiper is a little boy I can use some of these more masculine colors that I have um, which is nice you know and my poor fiance he was the lone wolf and now he has a another boy in the house so I think he's happy about that <laughs> and um, yeah so I'm just going to use some papers from the 6x6 pad you can see I layered some um, more solid looking you know designs in the back they have a little pattern to them but they're solid colors I used a navy and a green and now I am just cutting out some of these cut aparts and I love that delighted um, cut apart. I knew I wanted to use that. And what I'm going to do now is just grab more of a multicolored paper um, to use behind the photo. Um, I was just going to use those two layers, but I wanted to add a layer that had all the colors in it because I just felt like it was a lot for that little cut apart. Um, to carry the whole color scheme by itself, if that makes sense. So I wanted little pops of color behind the main area so that, you know, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you understand what I'm trying to say because at this point I barely understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, yeah, let's move on. So I'm going to pop up my photo here, and I'm just using, um, like, the the positive space or the negative, I don't know. Again, okay, I'm again. I'm obviously having problems today, but you see what I'm doing. I'm popping up the picture. And, um, yeah, I did flip that background paper uh, upside down because that black part was originally supposed to be at the bottom. Um, but I liked it at the top better. So, yeah, I am just um, using my Hickory Smoke Distress Ink to just ink around these layers. I don't know why I did that. I mean, I do know why I did that. But I don't do it to anything else on the layout, so, and that's kind of typical of me. I'll start <laughs> inking around the edges of stuff at first, and then I get into embellishing and stuff, and I just forget about doing the rest of it, so. So I'm going to pull out some of these um, cork stickers, and I found these actually at Tuesday morning for a really great price, and I did not have them. Um, all I bought from this collection was the 6x6, the ephemera, and um, a couple 12x12 sheets that I loved. And so I was happy to find those cork stickers, and I also found these like wood veneer border strips um, from this line, um, again, at Tuesday morning. And I think each of them were maybe like $1.50, maybe $2.00. Um, so really great price for that. And so I picked them up and um, I'm kind of going to, I want to put that house in the bottom right corner, more symbolizing kind of like, you know, welcome home to the dog. And I'm just going to go through the die cuts now. I do have two of those wood uh, border strips out, but I'm only going to end up using one. Um, there you see I'm taking the other one off right there. And yeah, I'm just going to go through the ephemera and pick out pieces that I like or that I want to use. Um, that little ticket at the top, this is pretty monumental. Um, I just thought that was very appropriate because this is our first family dog. Me and my fiance have both grown up with dogs, but um, this is our first family dog, you know, like with our kids and stuff. So it is pretty monumental. <laughs> and I'm going to use that little um, ephemera piece. It, it's like a little mini journaling card almost. And I have been watching a lot of Kate Roar's channel lately. I think her real name is Rory. 
and um, hang on. Sorry about that. <laughs> a little minor interruption with the dog. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, her I think her real name is Rory, and she does these kind of hidden journaling pockets quite a bit, and so I'm pretty sure that's where that uh, idea and inspiration for that came from, because that's what I'm going to do with that take. And um, yeah, still just going through, this is the older Chamel ephemera I'm going through. I have it mixed in with like the Lucky Charm ephemera and some other stuff, um, but the, sh the first Chamel ephemera collection is in there as well. Um, so I just went through that quick, and um, just looking to see if I want to use some more of these cork stickers. So I should say, I mean, this isn't my favorite layout that I've ever done. I do like how it came out. It's very simple, very clean. Um, and I had just recently posted um, on Facebook kind of asking what you guys would like to see on my channel. And um, I did get a few comments for just clean and simple. And so um, I figured just to get my mojo back and stuff, I would just kind of sit down and just do a quick layout. And that's kind of what this was for me. So there you are. Uh, there you are. There I am. You can see I uh, was holding that journaling tag in, in place and applying adhesive around it so that it created a pocket behind there. And... Um, I'm kind of deciding what I want to do in that bottom right corner now. So I'm going to use that little off cut from the Pretty Monumental take. I cut off the top part of it. And um, I just fishtailed the end of it. And I am going to do some stamping on it. So I'm going to grab this stamp set, which is by Pink Paisley. And there's one on there that says, Hello Friend. They're just really teeny tiny sayings. And then there's a little hashtag sign. So I'm going to use, um, actually I'm going to use a green archival ink that matches the greens um, kind of in the collection and I'm just going to stay on hashtag hello friend on that little yellow banner that I created down there. <clears throat> so there's the hashtag and now I'm going to do the hello friend and I stamp off quite a few times just because these are kind of cheaper acrylic stamps and so I wanted to make sure that I would get the impression that I wanted. So I mean yeah there we go. <laughs> Hashtag hello friend. Um, and I have a little ephemera piece down there, a little navy and, I don't know, aqua teal flower, I guess, <laughs> behind that quirk house. So I'm just going to layer those up. And I felt like that banner was kind of lonely, so I'm just going to cut a strip off of this um, the striped paper that has all the colors from the collection in it. And I'm going to fishtail that as well. And just layer that in behind that yellow banner that I made. So yeah, I'm going to just kind of get in the cluster together, sticking it on down, and then I'm going to peel off that cork house and stick that down. Um, I'm glad that I just want, just got to use it on this layout because I don't know when else I would be able to use that. So yeah, I was really glad that I got to use that. I don't know if I just said that or not. I had to kind of stop and restart again. <laughs> Lots of interruptions today. So I'm going to pop up that middle piece. As you can see, it's somewhat of a grid design that I have going on. Um, and I just wanted some kind of variation to the heights of the pieces. And so that die cut, I can't read what it says on my um, iMovie right now, but I'm sure it's something cute that has to do, I can read happy and love. So, <laughs> so yeah, I stuck that there and I'm going to stick this wood piece down. And... Um, yeah. So these I love. These are actually from Michaels and they're wood veneer like thumbtacks and they are self-adhesive on the back with really strong adhesive. And so I just took my um, Tim Holtz sander there and sanded off the knobs, um, you know, from punching them out. And I stuck that in there and I love that. So yeah, if you have a Michaels, go check and see. They're, I mean, they're like a dollar or something. So good price and I'm sure you can use your coupon on that at that so <laughs> so then I pulled out um a bunch of what do you need Trina can you take it out for me take what out the bag no like put okay I am so sorry once again <laughs> for the interruption you guys are probably like uh please no more process videos till your puppy is grown 
Um, but anyway, so yeah, I pulled out a bunch of embellishments um, just from my stash to use. So I used uh, a Mombi camera sticker, and then I also used that Today banner in the upper left corner um, from that sticker sheet. And then now I'm going through the Pink Paisley uh, Atlas collection, the puffy stickers. And I used one that says Arrivals, because he obviously arrived at our home, and a little arrow. And uh, I love Pink Paisley's puffy stickers. They're really cute. And then I pulled out this uh, Amy Tangerine chipboard that's from a long time ago um, and used the little uh, at symbol. And an arrow from Lucky Charm, which we all know is super old. I really wanted to use that navy heart cutout circle chipboard piece, um, but I couldn't find a place for it. So I'm going to end up using this yellow one and just sticking it right there. I'm just putting things kind of where they fit. And um, yeah, this is just the normal process of me just going through the embellishments that I pulled out. These are actually from the first Chamel collection, and I thought I would use some because, again, the colors really match her current collection. Um, but I couldn't get any of them to fit where I wanted them to, so... Now these are some older Studio Calico vellum stickers. They were from the Print Shop collection, which again is pretty old. Um, but the colors match that kind of teal color, so I'm going to use a couple of those. And um, some word phrase stickers. These are from Teresa Collins, Hello My Name Is. And that one says Home Sweet Home. I know that for sure, even though I can't read it because I specifically pulled the sheet out to use that Home Sweet Home. And then a couple other ones, which obviously weren't as memorable for me because I don't remember what they say, but hopefully you can read them on your screen. <laughs> And so now I'm going to work on my title, and I do fuss with this title a little bit more than I normally would, just because um, these foam thickers, I believe they're in the font Daiquiri. I love that they're foam, and they stick great. I mean, I was almost scared of them ripping my paper, moving them around so much, but they just don't hold their shape very well, and I wanted a really clean straight title and as you can see I could not get that but I wasn't going to keep fussing with it because like I said I was scared it was going to tear my paper. So I just put his name. We named him Swiper because um, our daughters both loved, well my older daughter loved Dora and my younger daughter she likes Dora. <laughs> but um, yeah he kind of reminded us of that fox that's on Dora when we got him and they always say Swiper no swiping and then he goes oh man. <laughs> and so um yeah, he's kind of the antagonist in the show, so the villain, if you will. So, yeah, it was kind of funny. So I used the green thickers because they matched the green in the collection, and then I used those Chamel tile stickers from her first collection um, to spell out the no swiping. And then I stamped the date uh, with, did I just use gray archival ink for that, I think? And that was just a Studio Calico, I believe, um, stamp. And I think it's a kind of a big deal. And then the date. And um, I'm going to use this flare from Lily B Designs. They're, they had a family collection a couple years ago. And same exact color palette as this uh, Chamel collection. And now I'm just going to add a few enamel dots. And uh, just spread them out here and there. Yeah, so um, yeah, these are just a variety of different enamel dots. From various places, various manufacturers, and so I just spread them out in a couple different colors here and there. And I'm going to get ready to do my journaling on this little hidden journaling card. And if you haven't checked out um, Rory's channel, her it's Kate Roar, K-A-T-E-R-O-A-R, -E and I swear, I, I mean, she's an amazing scrapbooker. She does 8.5 by 11, really clean and simple, but... It's her voiceovers that get me. I love the sound of her voice when she's talking. And so, yeah, I don't know. I just get, like, hypnotized <laughs> watching her videos. <laughs> so, I know that's crazy. But, anyways. Yeah, still just finishing off with a few enamel dots here. And the journaling's done. So, here's a few close-ups. And there are some photos at the end. Sorry for kind of the jumpy voiceover. Those kind of here and there and everywhere. But I hope that you still enjoyed kind of a more clean and simple layout from me. But don't worry, I'll get back messy again soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.